Welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to apply concurrency, multi-threading and parallelism using tasks that went all and parallel that for each methods in .NET. So go to Visual Studio Code and download this sample code, which consists of four classes. The first class is task drawn class, which contains this execute AC method. The idea with this example is to clarify the concepts of concurrency and asynchronous programming. Concurrency is the ability of a system to handle multiple tasks that can be processed at the same time, but not necessarily executed in parallel. And then asynchronous programming that in C -Shack is commonly used with async and await keywords applies concurrency to run tasks at the same time, but without blocking the calling thread or main thread. In this method, we'll receive a duration integer as a parameter to simulate a process with this task that delay function. So this program prints the current thread ID of the calling thread. It starts the main thread. Then with the task that run method, it will create a new task that will run in a separate thread allowing the main thread to continue executing other tasks concurrently. So here in this line, the main thread will continue independently of this task. We'll print the thread ID. This is the task that run method receives an action, will uh, simulate the process of the task with task delay defined by duration, and then print the thread ID associated with this task. Then we will wait for the completion task and print the thread count of the thread pool. Why? Because tasks that run queues the specified word to run on the thread pool. The thread pool manages all the threads that are available in the asynchronous flow. We want to see uh, how many threads are in the thread pool. Go to the program, the CS file. Here we have this stopwatch to track the elapsed time of the process of the execution of this method to compare the ideal duration with the elapsed time provided by this stopwatch class that will start the watch and then start after executing the method. This read key is to prevent closing the console, execute the application. As you can see, the main thread is unblocked and its thread ID is one. The AC method after four seconds that we define the parameter is associated with this thread ID that is different from the main thread. We have four threads in the thread pool. The ideal duration is four and the last time is almost the same. With the clarification of concepts of concurrency and asynchronous programming, it's time to take a look at the task when all class that will execute a method using task that when all method. It will receive a duration and a task count. But before explaining this code, I will mention the concept of multi-threading. So multi-threading it involves dividing the program execution into multiple threads that can run concurrently. But the main idea of this task that when method or multi-threading is to uh, maximize the multi-core processes to have multiple workers working independently or provide execution of multiple tasks at the same time simultaneously or in parallel. The first line will print the current thread ID of the main thread. Then we'll use two lists. The first list is to count the number of threads IDs associated with all the tasks that will run in the task that went on method. The second list is to create the list of tasks that we provide to the task that went on method. And the task that went on method creates a task that will be completed when all the supply tasks have been completed. It can run tasks in a separate thread with the task that run method that we saw in the first example. So here we'll use this for statement to add tasks to the list, calling this get task function or method that receives the duration divided by the index. So this get task methods receives that delay, invokes the task that run method to create any task in a separate thread, simulate a process and then print the current thread ID associated to that task. And this if statement is to check if the list thread IDs doesn't contain the thread ID, add the thread ID to the list and then return a task. We have all the tasks we need to call the task that method 
to process all the tasks and wait for the completion of all tasks with the await keyword and then print the number of threads in the thread pool and to compare with the threads used by using this count field from the list of thread IDs. Okay, so go to the program.cs file and comment it out this line, uncomment this task count property and this execute async that is from the task when all class. We pass the ideal duration in this case or second and the task count as the first test with just 12 tasks and run the application. The main thread is unblocked it continues the flow normally with one as the thread id all these methods are running in separate threads and uh, we define the delay for each is in method and the thread pool contains 14 threads the threads used are 12 we define in the property the ideal duration is four seconds and the last time is almost the same so we're applying multi-threading and kind of parallelism of executing multiple tasks at the same time, but change the task count to 400 and run again. The main thread continues its execution normally, but look that the number of threads used is 93. It indicates that all the tasks are not running in parallel. Threads are reused in various tasks. Look for a thread ID that is equal. Look, these two tasks are using the same thread ID for the same task. So threads are reused from the thread pool to run multiple tasks. So multi-threading doesn't imply parallelism. That's an important clarification. The number of threads in the thread pool is 94 and the threads use is 93. And the last time is greater than the ideal duration because all tasks are not running in parallel. And the final class to take a look is this parallel for each async class to clarify the concept of parallelism. We saw concurrency, asynchronous programming, and multi-threading. But we'll clarify the concept of parallelism at synchronous programming as well because it's important so i added two methods execute and execute async this execute method contain all this logic but before explaining this code i want to mention what is parallelism it refers to the concept of performing multiple task operation concurrently but where tasks are divided into smaller so tasks that can be executed simultaneously similar to the concept of multi-threading by the main goal is to run tasks in parallel so this execute method will print the main thread id then with the same list to count the number of threads ids used in the process i added this delays list to pass to the parallel for each method you can see use the for statement to add uh, different durations or different delays to this list and then call the parallel for each method this parallel for each is a synchronous method that receives the list of delay and we pass this new parallel options i will explain later let's define as minus one to ignore this parameter and then receives this d as a lambda function that represents the element of the delays list with this thread that is lead function we will suspend the current thread for the specified number of milliseconds the property and then print the thread id for this pal method and this if statement is to check if the thread id is already in the list or not if not add to the list and um, i will print the continuation the main thread and print the number of threads in the thread pool the threads used and the logical processes logical processes refers to the number of threads that can be executed simultaneously on a single core this is possible due to a feature called hyperthreading, which allows a single core to handle multiple threads at the same time for example my computer has eight cores but it contains 16 processor counts as we will see so each core has two threads that can be run simultaneously so go to the program.cs file and comment this line uncomment this part which async instantiation and call the execute method is a synchronous method so we will see the result we pass the ideal duration in this case for seconds and the task count this test will be 16 run the application 
and the main thread is blocked because it's a synchronous operation. The main thread ID that is one is used by one of the path methods. The number of threads in the thread pool is 16, the thread suit is 16, the logical processor as I mentioned it's 16 because my computer has eight cores and each core has two threads to run simultaneously and the ideal duration is almost the same as the elapsed time because we're performing tasks simultaneously. But now change the task count to 400 and let's see what happened the number of threads in the thread pool is 16 but the thread suits are 17 why because the program is actually using the main thread that is one the main thread was used in parallel methods look at the last time it's more than twice the ideal duration so it's not performant at all go to the parallel for each async class and take a look at the execute async method that will check concurrency asynchronous programming and parallelism and why not multi-threading it's almost the same logic at the execute but the change is that we're calling parallel that for each async like we can use async and a great keyboard to prevent blocking the main thread and let's see what happens comment out this line of code and uncomment the next line test with 16 task look that the main thread is unblocked it's running independently and uh, look that all parallel methods are using the same thread but the performance is almost the same as the ideal duration logical processor assisting but the program is using just one thread and we have 11 threads available now test with 400 tasks look at the performance the ideal duration is almost the same uh, as the last time look the threads in the thread pool is 14 the thread use is 14 but it's not using the main thread to run prior methods the performance is amazing with this prior that for each async compared to the synchronous method the last test is by limiting the number of cores used by this prior that which is in method. This new parallel option class provides this much degree of parallelism property, which we can limit the number of costs used by this parallel for each AC method. Let's limit the parallelism by just three cores. Go to the program.cs file, run 400 tasks, and let's see the time. We have four threads in the thread pool, but just with four threads used, we define a limit of three cores so the program can use six threads at the same time you remember the logical processors each core has two logical processors or threads and the last time is almost 10 seconds 